Hi, this is Ozzy Griffin doing a second video for the day. Uh, I'm still working on uh, my editing video. I'm currently rallying people to do cameos uh, for my Romance Without Regret dissection. I'm going to talk a little bit about the esoteric stuff here today, so it's kick back, relax. This one is actually inspired by the Bad Cop 69 talking about uh, what he's researching into with consciousness. I'm going to talk about the difference between awareness and consciousness. I am aware that I'm looking at a camera. I'm aware that there's a pool table. Yet, when I cannot link those two awarenesses relative to one another, they are not part of the greater consciousness. When you can link your awarenesses of many things, I know there's a camera there because it's sitting on a pile of books and uh, other boxes and things underneath it, and that is being held up by a pool table, and that is being held up by a floor, and that is being held up by the rest of the planet, and I am interacting on top of all of that, when I can put all those things together with the whys and the wherefores, that is an expansion of consciousness. Someone once said that if you want to uh, make a computer more powerful, you have to expand its consciousness. Well, if I have a computer that has a, like a search, we'll take a search engine like Google. The reason the Google algorithm is so successful is because it links things together and it makes sense of a slightly bigger picture. It's still done in a very angular, slanted way as computers do. However, it has a greater consciousness and it delivers better results. Hypothetically, you could eventually create an artificial intelligence that is so powerful, it could basically uh, rival your own ability to say, well, I'm not sure I want to look into that, though you'll probably wind up coming to this realization, so you might want to look into this just to save yourself a bit of time. So anyway, that's the difference between awareness and uh, consciousness.